is Dennis Haas and I work with all the fabulous librarians in our school district. What we're going to do is kick off a video series that highlights a lot of the resources that we have available to you all the time from your library. So before we go any further, I do need to introduce you to a couple of my friends. This is Tansy. And Tansy is a great reader. She loves a good book. Say hi, Tansy. She loves when I read to her. Have you ever read a story to your pet? Okay, that's Tansy. She'll make some appearances. And then we have... Bum, bum, bum. This is Mr. Peanut. And I'm not sure that he knows how to read. But he does love to have a good book read to him. Say hi, Peanut. His breath stinks. All right, let's get into some of our library resources. The first one we're going to look at is under Academics, Library Resources. So a lot of the applications and databases we're going to look at in the future are right out here. We're going to focus in on an elementary K through 5 resource, so click on that icon. And in the future, we'll be visiting a lot of the school sites in our district. But for today, we're going to focus in on AbdoZoom. So AbdoZoom is a pretty cool database geared for the elementary level students. You probably will not be using this when you're in middle school or high school. But for right now, this is a perfect fit for just exploring and doing some research on topics that might interest you, or maybe you get an assignment from your teacher. This is going to be a great launch pad for you to go and get some good information. So let's take it from the top. Anytime you're inside of this database, if you see this AbdoZoom logo, it will bring you back to this main page. On this main page, there's four major sections, animals, animales, and anytime you click on these, they're going to read that aloud. So this is biographies and STEAM. STEAM stands for science, technology, engineering, art, and math. Let's just go ahead and jump into animals for right now. Animals. So when you launch it, it will bring you to all of the continents across our globe and you could just jump right into North America, South America, one of the continents and also you could jump to one of the large oceans, Atlantic Ocean, Pacific Ocean. So that's one way you can just take off and explore. I think my favorite way to explore is up here on this toolbar. You could type in a search term but it's kind of nice to just hit this magnifying glass and it will show you every single animal that this database has. So you can just roll down and see tons and tons of animals. Let's take a look at this one. So when you land on any topic, there are going to be these little chapter headings and this little speaker will read the entire article to you. Most of them have a video clip so you can hit the play button or you can jump. Body. Caribou have wide, flat hooves. They have two toes. This helps the caribou swim. Caribou have long fur. Even their noses are furry. The noses warm the air they breathe. What do you think caribou eat? Caribou eat plants. They eat grasses and shrubs. In the winter, they mostly eat lichen. They use their hooves to dig through snow. This helps them find food. So you might bump into some words that are in blue. They've embedded the definition for that word. So she was reading and said they mostly eat lichen. If you click on that, it will pop up and tell you what lichen is. So lichen is a living thing that looks like a small plant and that grows on hard surfaces such as rocks. So I bet you you've seen lichen before. So focusing in on this toolbar, 
we hit the magnifying glass to start with and went and just found this animal. This just gives you everything underneath the topic. The home button will bring you back to that page that was specifically for animals. So this brings you back to sort of the menu of those four major areas. This brings you back to the home page for animals because that was the section that we chose. So we've got the search you can type in, we've got I want to see everything, we've got the home back to whichever main category you were looking at, and then this is one of my favorite features, this little puzzle piece. So the puzzle piece is kind of like word games, interactive things, so animal to classification. You can click on that, and every time you come in here it might be different, it's not always going to be the same exact puzzle. So it's telling you to click and drag the circle to the proper classification. So if you don't know, you're just going to have to guess. Or if you didn't know where blue whales fit, if you think they go under fish or birds or mammals, if you don't know and you want to just quit here, you could type in blue whales up here in the search bar and go and find which classification blue whales are in. So what do you think? Blue whales as an insect? I don't think so. Oops. How about as a uh, fish? Nope. Whales are not fish. Whales are actually mammals. Okay. And then you can have another challenge. Now we were just looking at blue whales, right? So you could go up here and you could type in blue whales. and then begin research. And again, you've got those major categories. I wonder how long blue whales live. How long is their life cycle? Life cycle. Female blue whales usually have one baby at a time. A baby blue whale is called a calf. A calf drinks its mother's milk for seven months. Scientists believe some blue whales have lived as long as 110 years. Wow. Okay. Now, if you remember when we first started, we had those four choices. We had animals, animales, biographies, and steam. So within the animals, if you say view in Spanish, you're really just jumping over to the animales one. All right, so we've covered typing in something to the search bar. We've covered looking for everything. We've covered the home button, which will bring you back to whatever section you're in. The puzzle piece is just interactive things and puzzles and games. This would let you print out this article. And then this one is brand new this year. If you're used to using this product, you might notice that's new. This one allows you to get a shortcut so that you can come right back to here okay so you might need that if you maybe you're doing a PowerPoint or um, a report and you want to give the the reader a link right back to an article you could do that you simply click on it and then you can copy this link right here you can just hit copy and then paste that into whatever you're working on so let's go and take another look at another area. So we were hitting animals. Let's jump to biographies. Biographies. So within the biographies you could search by athletes, right, artists and entertainers. They've got them broken up into groups like that. You could specifically try to type in someone's name. But again, one of my favorite ways is just to hit this hourglass here or this little spyglass. And it's going to show you all of the people that there is a story on all of their basic bio biographical information okay so we'll look at some of those in a bit but let's try to take a challenge let's say what is this person known for being This is always a good challenge.
So our job is to click and drag the person to what he or she is known for being. Okay. Now, you might not recognize some of these names, but you have to guess what they're known for. Right? And sometimes, you know, it's not life or death whether or not you know these. It's just about learning and exploring. However, this is kind of interesting. Yo-Yo Ma. That is the person's name. Now, I don't know if Yo-Yo Ma was a famous artist, explorer, a musician, or an athlete. I could probably get some clues from some of these. Like this guy here, he kind of looks like he's wearing some old football pads. So if I were going to guess, I would say Jim Thorpe was an athlete. Woo, we got that one. Now, Yo-Yo Ma, I'm not sure. So what you could do is you could come up here and search. Let's just try searching for Yo and see what we get. So just searching for Yo, we got Beyonce, because there's a Yo in her name. We got Malala Yosufasi. Sorry if I mispronounce her name. I should probably go to the article and they'll pronounce it for me. We'll do that in just a second. And then Sonia Sotomayor, she's uh, on the Supreme Court. And then Yo-Yo Ma was what we were looking for. So, but let's learn how to pronounce this gal's name. Malala Yousafzai. Malala Ooh. Yousafzai is an activist. Now let's go back and try to find Yo-Yo Ma again. Aha! This is a pretty big clue, right? Yo-Yo Ma. Yo-Yo Ma is a famous cellist. He is one of the best classical musicians in the world, but he also plays music from many other cultures and genres. Ma was born on October 7th, 1955. And again, it's broken up into sort of chapters for each person, each biography. And then this would be a video where you could see probably Yo Yo Ma playing a little bit. There are some quick stats, cool facts, an activity, different things you can do here. Okay. So explore these databases. They're, they're really, really good. So we looked at animals, animales, biographies. Let's look at STEAM. STEAM. So you could jump into machines and inventions, how our world works, right? Each of these would be categories. You could try to find them by name. Let's try that. Find by name. So all of these somehow are related to STEAM, which was science, technology, engineering, art, and math. Gems. Okay, so have fun with these resources. This one again is AbdoZoom. Let's wrap up with how to get there again. Simply get to the West Ada School District's homepage, select Academics, Library Resources, jump into the Elementary K through 5 sites. And this particular resource, you do not need a username or password for. You just click on that link, and away you go. All right. I hope you found that useful. We will come back next week with a new video on another resource. Bye.